Hi guys, we're back with you and it's the following morning. With our uh, unplanned detour as of yesterday, uh, we decided to spend the night in Bonau. And uh, I have a couple of pictures coming up on the video of uh, where we stood last night. Very clean, very affordable, a wonderful restaurant. I had an incredible piece of a uh, churrasco, which is an Argentinian cut of beef. It was uh, soft like butter. It was it was delicious. But we decided to spend the night in uh, Bonau. And uh, the reason was um, the paved road that you're watching this video that I'm voicing over now, this is after the turnoff. So after uh, Bonau, you go up the highway, I would say about another 10 miles at most, and you veer off to your exit to uh, working towards Costanza. Obviously, you can see the quality of the roads is fantastic, and I figured it would be a good time and give me a chance to talk a little bit what happened. After we doubled back, we actually ran into a group of three ladies that rented a, an SUV, and their driver, uh, they were two, uh, two ladies from uh, Germany visiting, uh, in their mid-20s, I would say, by looking at them, and their cousin, was, believe it or not, Dominican descent from a mixed marriage. And they were all on an outing. And uh, like I was saying, the last third of that road got cre pretty crazy. And um, they were kind of freaked out a little bit about it. So uh, while I thought somebody was following us, it was turning. They, were, they saw who we were, like, you know, a couple of gringos in a van there in a truck. And they wanted to stick near us. And uh, when we stopped at the border there, they came out and they asked us, uh, like, oh, my God, this is terrible. And we don't want to drive back down this ourselves is there any way that we can go ahead of you and you can follow us and so that's exactly what we did we followed them all the way back into town and they wanted to stop and buy us a beer or something but as time was clicking on we we bid our farewells and we kept going so if you follow the map uh we went back into the beginning part of the capital then veered off to uh, the Autopista Duarte, which is Highway 1, the nation's national highway. We ventured up that to a town I know, like I say, uh, Bonal, and we decided we're going to spend the evening there. The reason why I did that was uh, I didn't want to travel the road. I know how be beautiful it is off the turnoff on the paved road that you're, you're starting to watch now. And I didn't want to do it at night so our viewers wouldn't see any of the little towns and what quality of pavement there is and some of the beautiful scenes. So that's the reason why uh, we're going to venture into uh, Costanza. And there is a gorgeous town that's about five to eight miles before Costanza. This town is spotless and it's total agriculture everywhere you look. And the town is called Tereo. T-I-R-E-O. I've been there a couple of times, just a quick pass through, but we decided to shoot some video there. Everything from potatoes, then you start your cold water fruits, strawberries, berries, blueberries. While they do touch on chemicals when necessary for insects, absolutely no GMO whatsoever. So enjoy the ride and we'll catch up with you in Tereo. Good morning guys, it's Barry and DR and uh, Leanne and I decided on our last night that we're just going to take it easy and we settled in in Hatabacoa, a really nice little resort. I'm going to put the name of the resort up on the YouTube. Um, it cost about $85, $90 US for the night, including breakfast, but as you can see, um, it's located right off a river. The grounds are impeccably clean. It's a beautiful place to spend a night or two. I'm filming right from the restaurant. That's a little entertainment center uh, in the evenings. There's karaoke and other type of uh, entertainment. I'll just continue doing a panoramic shoot of the area. And um, we'll continue on the next piece. I got to change sides right now. So picking up again from the little entertainment, nice gazebo. This is right off the restaurant. Beautiful, beautiful river. Like I say, the grounds are exceptional. Um, judging 
from our different lodgings for the week, we've had everything from $25 a night all the way up to this, uh, which is about roughly $90 in U.S. money. And I'm panning around now. Met some wonderful folks from the capital just coming up for a long weekend to relax a little bit. And we'll have this all set up. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. Nice meeting you, sir. They will continue on, and we're going to work our way back to Cabrera. I'll be doing a little bit of filming in Hatabacoa, just so you have an idea of what it's like. And we'll catch you on the next video. This is Barry MDR. This view of the bridge that's crossing the river that takes you into the clubhouse. And I'll just do a pan shoot of this area going both directions off the bridge. We'll continue on quickly with the pool and spa, and we'll go from there. This is the downflow side of the river. I'm standing on the bridge now. I'll just pan it back. And I'm going to shoot just along the shoreline. You can see that's, I'm going to be filming, that's the spawn pool area. A very beautiful resort. In the end, doing one or two pictures for just stock footage. Gazebo. Basically a dominoes playing area, more than anything else. Going into, that's the restaurant overhanging. Beautiful view of the river. Absolutely wonderful place. Uh, for the DR, people, you know, they, they don't really understand, I guess, until they come here. The DR has the richest of the rich to the most humble and simple uh, lifestyles, as well as lodgings and other shopping and things of this nature. That was Mouse. Hey, Mouse! Hey, and um, some of the places, although we didn't stay at them, uh, that we saw on our Southwest trip were ranging up to $300 US a night. So our, once again, our price range that we spent was here was $85 a night. The most inexpensive or economical one we stood at was the Italian hotel and we loved it. The food was perhaps the best we had on the whole trip at that place. I can't get over how good it was. And uh, that was about 27. So on to the pool and spa and we'll catch up with you there. Okay, we're over here at the spa and pool facility. Beautiful, beautiful pool. Huge spa. They have billiards, ping pong, um, just general recreation facilities like that. Very well equipped place. Everything is slab stone on the walls you're looking at, behind the loungers. The grounds, um, different types of foliage everywhere you look. Almost like a rainforest, like you're living in a rainforest. Uh, really beautiful and to get an idea, that's the bridge I just came off of. Okay, we're just doing a quick pan shoot. <clears throat> excuse me, of the uh, receiving or reservation lobby coming into the place. I'll flash the name on the YouTube if uh, there is any interest for it. And after we pack up, we're just going to do some quick uh, mounted shots of the city while we're driving. And uh, we're skipping Santiago. We're doing our grocery shopping uh, next week. Leanne's tired and wants to get back to Cabrera. So this is Barry and DR. And we'll catch up with you on the road and on the way back home to Cabrera. Miss our shade tree and miss the ocean. Talk to you soon.
Hi guys, just doing a quick pan before we head out. Uh, if I can, I'll do a little bit of uh, filming on our way out of Harabacoa. Then we're going to go through La Vega, over a mountain ridge, back to the north coast, and be back to the old shade tree in Cabrera by about 4 o'clock today, 3.30. And Tomorrow we'll be catching up on all the things we needed to do that we were away for the week. I understand we have three or four new chicks, which is always great. And it's been a phenomenal week. Enjoyed every minute of it, but it confirms once again, as I've known from traveling for our family, and that doesn't mean yours, but for our family, as beautiful as this is, there's no place like Cabrera. Just suits us fine. We'll catch up with you guys soon. I know I got different folks coming out September, October, and Barry and Leanne. Hoping you enjoyed everything that we brought on this weekend. And a great place. Oh, look, surprise. Senor, buen dia. Buen dia. Como esta? Bien, gracias a Dios. Guys, we'll catch you on the road for our last video of Harabacoa, if possible, because it looks pretty overcast. Barry and Leanne, out for now. It's the reception area. And, um, absolutely beautiful. Love the way the place is finished. Brick and wood, stone, brick and wood. It's, it's beautiful. Very much like a log cabin kind of atmosphere that you would see um, in the mountains. Gran Amosa. Okay, this is Barry and DR.